Friend, you're here because your air conditioner's broke. Same thing just happened to poor old scrawny Margie next door. I'm here, Margie. She said she got so hot mm, waiting for me to save her. So strong. You know, the house didn't seem that bad, really. But I'm happy to save you, too. Save you from having to watch a thousand videos. Because I already done that for you. I've handpicked the very best ones. Plus, I'll give you some quick steps to help you decide whether to tackle the job yourself or call in a professional. I'm wearing six pair of gloves to satisfy the legal department and 14 pair of safety goggles. The mill's behind the camera. Let's get started. Step one, diagnosis. Next to lawyers, Air conditioning repair guys are among the least trusted professionals in the world because it feels like they got you over a barrel. It's called blackmail. So I do a little diagnosis myself before calling one in. That way I can judge if he's being honest with his recommendations. After a quick look outside, I went straight to Margie's inside unit. Watch these pipes behind the panel of her air handler. You see what happens when the air conditioner cycles on? The lines are freezing over. DeMille, are you getting this? Yeah. You see how they're turning white? Now, this may seem ironic, but if your lines are freezing over, most likely it's because your refrigerant is low. Or maybe it's obstructed and not flowing through the system right. Seems backwards, but it's true. And if you got low refrigerant, well, that means there's a leak somewhere. With a real small leak, you might only have to replace refrigerant every couple of years. But the leak should still be located for the sake of this beautiful planet we call home. Uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Step two. I used a $23 leak sniffer. And there's a product link below for this item. And there's also a free method I'll show you in a minute. With a slight curve in my shaft, I was able to probe in and around every place Margie needed. Like pipe joints, couplings, Schrader valves are a common place for leaks. And they can be replaced cheap, by the way. But no issues here, my beeping remained constant. The free diagnosis I talked about simply involves dabbing soapy water in these leak-prone places to see if bubbles form. No problems here at the condenser. So I went back inside and checked the air handler. All the obvious joints and eventually the head of my probe took me straight to Margie's orifice. This piston area right here. You hear that? The sniffer's telling me there's a small leak near one of these thin tubes. I verified it with some soapy water. It works even if the system is off because it's under pressure. See the soap bubbling up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, leak verified. And indeed, a very tiny leak. Step three, get it fixed. Easy solution might be this AC Easy Seal. Some people swear by it, other people don't. You can be the judge of that. The ultimate fix for me would be to call a professional out to braise it. It's like soldering on steroids. Not intended for mortal men. Danger. So I'm going to get an honest feller, tell him I found the leak and I just need the area brazed and the system refilled. Doing this basic diagnosis myself makes me feel better because it takes the mystery out of things. Finally, step four. If your outside condensing unit keeps tripping breakers or the compressor's not cycling on, there's a $12 fix worth trying. Replace the capacitor. Common problem. It's cheap to have an extra one on hand for when yours inevitably craps out every few years. I found this one on Helen's bedside table. Of course, it needs to match the one you're taking out. And you gotta be safe. Know how to shut off the power and avoid electrical shock, of course. It ain't no joke. But I'll leave all these details to the experts who know more than me. The links below are my personally curated favorite videos. Take the time to watch them, and these HVAC warriors will point you in the right direction. Hope this narrows things down for you. I know it sucks to be all steamy and hot like Margie was. See ya, Margie. Cover up, would you? But knowing a little bit how things work is worth it. This is Merv saying keep it simple, and I'll see you next time. Merv's Service Secrets is made fresh every day. 
and serve to you weeks later. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell 